fine show for y'all. Got a damn good show. LeBron James. He's no longer a Cowboy fan. Check this out. Really? Oh, that hurts. This year, but I heard you talk shit about the Cowboys in a long, I mean, maybe since like 1997 or something. You still a Cowboys fan? Nah, man. I'm. I had to. I had to chill out. Of, I had to chill out on the Cowboys, man. Like you know, man. There's Good. a lot of things that was going on during the, you know, when guys were kneeling and 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 um, you know, guys were have you know freedom of speech and wanted to do it in a very peaceful, you and, know, manner. And you know, a lot of people in they they front office and a lot of people that you know ran the organization was like, you know. If you do that around here, then you would never play, you know, for this franchise again. And, Good. and I just didn't think that was appropriate. So, makes total sense. you know, I like a lot of the players on the team still. You know, I love C.D. Lamb. Obviously, you know, our, our, our boy Zeke, you know, you know, Buckeye, you know, I still mess with him. I love Michael Parsons. He's a dog. Oh, He's my a dog. God. Michael Parsons is a dog. You know, Trayvon Diggs, you know, but. You know, I had to I had to turn it in, even though I still got a lot. So of now you all so now you all in on the Browns. I'm all in on the Browns. Good. And, you know, Go back where you came from. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no Dallas fan. You don't belong. You don't have the privilege of being a Dallas Cowboys fan. That's America's team. So it turns out, I guess Jerry. I'm Jones. glad he went back where he came from. <laughs> Go back where you came from. <laughs> hey, so I guess Jerry Jones in the front office that is like, look, if you kneel, you won't be playing for the Cowboys no more. So he gave them an option. If you want to, <laughs> if you, you can still do that protest if you want, yeah. but you ain't going to be playing here. Yeah. You uh, can, he, he don't have a gun that nobody said. If you want to kneel for the National Anthem, you have the First Amendment. You can do so. <laughs> but the First Amendment come with consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Us here on the right, we totally realize that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on, sister. How effective is a protest if you're going to kneel for the national anthem right now? How effective is that protest if that protest has been going, what, five, six years now? Yeah. How effective a protest <laughs> you think that is? I don't even know what y'all protesting. What, what are they protesting? An effective protest should be over in like a couple of weeks. Easily. Shit, Rosa Parks, I think that was over in a week. <laughs> y'all, you. Oh, I can't sit in the front of the bus? Well, I won't ride the bus no more. <laughs> then they lose all this money to say, hey, uh, hey, we got to bring these Negroes back. <laughs> That's what they call them back there, Negroes. <laughs> hey, Negroes, y'all can sit wherever y'all want. <laughs> Here y'all still talking about, you still talking about kneeling for the National Anthem five, six years later. I mean, at this point, don't y'all think y'all should change it up? Yeah. I mean, I still don't know what y'all protesting. I still don't understand. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys, I think that's the most expensive, the most valuable yeah. franchise in all of sports. Yeah. They are branded as America's team. How American is it when uh, you have a Black Lives Matter support Negro on his knees <laughs> kneeling? That don't look too American to yeah, me. You don't supposed to say Negro no more. Just say um, It's better than the N-word. Well, African American, they want to be called African. -American. They ain't calling nobody African American. None of them Negroes African American. <laughs> they ain't from Africa, huh? Man, y'all just Black Americans. I like, like, I don't even call myself an African American because I'm not African. I mean, I have ancestry from Africa, yeah. but I was born in America. Yeah. I'm not African. If you don't believe me, anybody was born here in America, go to Africa and tell them you African American. They're gonna laugh your ass right out of Africa. Yeah, African American is just you shouldn't even call yourself it because you're not. I mean, just, your ancestry is, but you're an American yeah, citizen that happens to be black. That's all you are. That's what Democrats want you to think. You're African American. Don't You're not a full blown American. You're African American. Yeah, you can always need me to hip you, boy. So you better vote Democrat. Yeah. Remember, you African boy. <laughs> Them boys on the right, they don't like you Africans too. They don't like you African fellas. Yeah, look, Jerry Jones is protecting his brand. You know, a lot of football teams lost money when yeah. that whole kneeling thing went down because a mm -hmm. lot of uh, fans are not going to support a team that they feel is disrespecting. Our country. It looks un-American. It looks unpatriotic. Right. Drake Jones is protecting his brand. Like, you protect your brand all the time, LeBron James. Do you ever speak out against China? No, you don't, because they will ruin your business partner's brand, their money. Your money. Right? Yeah. So you can protect your brand, but Drake Jones can't. You need to go back where you came from. <laughs> I mean, you just... I Hypocrite. Know, you just don't... It's like you don't understand what's going on. The NFL is a business. I'm sure Jerry Jones would do anything to help support black lives. Yeah. Look how much he's paying Zeke. Yeah. I mean, he what 
what is he, a white supremacist? I can see if you're not supporting him, if Jerry Jones is a white supremacist. <laughs> He's wearing a tread on me t-shirt everywhere. <laughs> Don't Make America great again. Yeah. <laughs> He's got that MAGA hat on everywhere. <laughs> hey, boy, you better not kneel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's racist. But he <laughs> but ain't none of that. He ain't none of that, man. He's protecting his brand. His brand is America's team. Yeah. And it looks un-American to have players, black, white, brown, yellow, and everything in between, kneeling during the national anthem, especially because nobody understands or knows why y'all are kneeling. At this you just point, look like a bunch of ungrateful Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> it, Jerry Jones is a billionaire. I heard yeah. he's a good guy. I heard he's a good guy. Why don't too, you man. go sit down with Jerry Jones and come up with better options to help the black community? Yeah. You're a billionaire. He's a billionaire. He'll take your phone call. Yeah. Won't you do that? Oh, I'm just going to be a Cleveland Browns fan. They suck. Yeah. So you just go turn your back on your boy Zeke. C.D. Lamb. Mika Parsons. All of them are beasts. All y'all boys. You go turn your back on them. Man. You fake as hell. <laughs> All of those How dudes. How you just going to leave your boys hanging like that? Them, them your boys. You just going to leave them hanging? Just Over. left them hanging. You ain't no friend, LeBron. You just left them. You made you made it to freedom. Just left them niggas in Dallas. Just <laughs> took your ass back to Cleveland. Huh? Yeah, went back where you came from. <laughs> that was a damn good show. For more damn good shows, click one of these two videos right here. Hey, we got some new comedy shows coming. coming. We coming to Cleveland. Yeah, we're going to be in Cleveland this weekend. We're going to be in Daytona or Ohio. Yeah. Stood it down. Gonna be in Houston, Texas. We filming our, our comedy special there. Yeah. We gonna, we got all kinds. Of, gonna be in Tempe, Arizona. We gonna be in Corpus Christi, Texas. That's enough shows. They can go to uh, harshwinds2.com and let us know in the comments. Are you glad that LeBron went back where he came from? <laughs> As a Dallas Cowboy fan? Don't you think LeBron's a damn hypocrite? He can protect his brand, but a white man can't. Man, he crazy as hell. Yeah.